And you know what they say about too much of a good thing. We've gotten the rain we needed and then some. Just about every part of the state is soaked and the flooding has not stopped. Here's News 13's Tina Jensen. From washed out roads to sewage in the streets, today's Sky News flew over some of the hardest hit places. Here's what we saw. South of Belen, it was the National Guard to the rescue as soldiers helped evacuate residents from Bernardo, where they drove over what used to be a road and now looks like a lake. Water is four feet deep in some areas there. This photo sent from a viewer shows how the normally dry Rio Puerco is about 300 feet wide as it flows under I-25 and into the Bernardo area. The governor toured the region earlier today. The river Puerco that is full and that's why you see sort of this kind of back backing up of the river um, and I was told that it is usually bone dry. It is full now. What I'm most concerned about is we've got some homes over here. In the Gila in southwest New Mexico, the only roads into the village of Magallon have been wiped out, leaving people there without supplies. Ten miles west, the town of Alma is covered in mud and parts of the catwalk trail in the Gila washed out. Grant schools were let out early and roads are blocked off as these weekend floodwaters in nearby Blue Water led to big problems today. Now sandbags line parts of the town as high waters run near homes and businesses. And it's not only property damage that has residents concerned. Here in Grants, the heavy rains have caused manholes to overflow, leaving sewage running into the streets. We've been driving around looking at all the manholes coming up and where's all the sewage going? I'm sure it's going to wash somewhere, but where's it going to wash to? Grants, like a lot of New Mexico, dealing with the aftermath of a strange problem, too much rain. Now, Grant schools are closed tomorrow because of flooding issues. The governor declared a state of emergency Friday. She says she may have to issue another executive order to free up more money.